Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a good shade for you today. Got a new razor I had mentioned on my channel earlier and I picked it up. So, we are going to be using the Henson Dr. Squatch Razor. It is green. I would say, I haven't, I think they changed their model just a little of Henson. If you notice, the head's not exactly the same, like profile wise, just a little different. And this is more pronounced of a grip than this is. All right, guys. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna make this kind of simple and easy if someone stumbles upon this that's never been into traditional wet shaving. So you take and you unscrew the handle. This came with some RK, RK stainless double-edged blades. I was gonna say chromium. Chromium is what I've used before. Haven't used these. Take, unwrap the blade, pull it out, top cap, put the blade on, I like to hold it by the tabs, and this one has a little notch so that you can do so, hold it by the tabs like that, put it on, then I like to turn it upside down. Back it out to make sure it's sitting flat so we don't cross thread. Then nicely tighten. Sorry if you hear the fire trucks cross street. All right, fully tightened. Tighten up. We're here in Tennessee, Tennessee Titans. So we're gonna do something simple. If you're going to be using a safety razor, recommend a cream or a shave soap. Shave soap tends to come in tubs but we are using Suaveceto Eucalyptus and Tea Tree Shaving Cream. This is readily available at Amazon. You can find it online. And we're going to be using the HCNC Synthetic Beginner's Brush. Had it soaking in water. Synthetic doesn't have to be, but I soaked my brushes, flicked out the water. We're going to put some down in the center. Well, let's get into it. Huh, I haven't used this in a while. I think it's clogged. We will fix that. It was clogged. The top was a little hard. Oh, see? There we go. Wet the face. Eucalyptus and tea tree is a nice scent. We've got it down in the middle like that. And you just I left a lot of water in there, so it may get a little floppy. Start building a lather. Ooh, that's a lot of water I left in there. We'll squeeze some out. Oh, that was a lot. All right. That's better. I haven't face lathered a cream in a while. Easy to build a lather with a cream over a soap, generally. I did have too much water. Get yourself a good cheap synthetic brush. Yaki, Yachi, however you want to put it. One of these HCNCs, a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements brush, a Razor Rock brush, something like that. Inexpensive, easy to get started. Ooh, look at that lather going all the way to the back of my neck. We got some bloopage going on. At least I haven't had to add water, guys. I had way too much to begin with. You just sit there and build it to a lather. We got a decent looking lather. I'm gonna paint a little bit of water in just to hydrate a little more so it doesn't dry on the face. Eucalyptus and tea tree. What can I say? Dr. Squatch, man. I like the Henson razors. This one's pretty cool and I like the green one. They said it was limited, but hopefully it does well. And they keep making it with the Squatch logo. I feel like the Squatch logo and being branded with Dr. Squatch brings it into the people's focus a little more. I don't know if this is the medium or light aggression Henson. It did not say. I looked and read and read. I'm 
maybe medium aggression, maybe. But it's hard to tell between their medium and mild. And if, you know, this is new to you guys, traditional wet shaving, you happen upon this video. If I do open up over here or down here, I had a bad blade and razor, a couple of shaves. This is very smooth and comfortable feeling. I actually like these RK blades just fine. But traditional shaving is about sequences and passes, not too much pressure. You know, people do two and three pass shaves. I'm generally a two pass guy, but we'll do a three today. Just for the heck of it. I was going to skip a day of face shaving because the face was sensitive. But this is a pretty mild razor. I wanted to use it and do this video. Now I cannot go cross grain on my neck. So that pass will not be cross grain. The point of multiple passes is to mow the hair down. In all the different directions it grows. Which, when it comes to neck hair, that's generally where a lot of people get swirls and a lot of different hair growth. I do as well, but my skin does not like going this way, which is against the grain for me. All right. Look at that. See guys, plenty of lather for three passes. I did put a good amount of cream in there, though it didn't need as much as I put in there. And I could build this up a little bit more and make it more hydrated and creamy and pretty. All right, we'll play with it just a little bit longer. Wow. What little resistance there was when I was painting it on before, as soon as I added water, resistance went away, meaning it's hydrated well enough. Had to rinse that handle off. Couldn't stand the soapiness on it. Suavecito soap or cream, guys, is a really, it's good for the price. It's inexpensive. I get good shaves. They have nice scents. And they're not all as simple as this. Trying to get as close as we can with directions my skin doesn't mind. Because we don't want irritation. Whew. And I will tell you, scent strength on this is strong enough that I smell it during the entire shave. Excuse the call. Fall time, guys. Allergies get here. All right. If you're new, the drill is we rinse up and then we come right back. All right, guys. Nice. Feeling super close. That was a good blade. I, I'm very familiar with the razor. Didn't expect anything different. I do like a little bit how it's more grippy right here than the other model. Going to follow it up with some skin bracer. Doesn't matter. Follow it up with whatever splash you want, whatever brand. This is just super cheap in the uh, pharmacy, online. You can get this stuff cheap. 
five minutes. Skin bracer. Man, that's good. Great scent. That was a good shave. Didn't even really burn when I put it on. Remember, guys, get yourself a good budget brush to start out. Henson razor is a great starter razor. Um, you can be like me if you've made it this far. I'll let you know. I used a discount code I found online to get it. This is $70. I got 30% off with Brick30. Um, what can I say? And Suavecito Shave Cream. If you're getting started, cream is a great route to start. Um, you can get Tobbs, um, Taylorville Bond Street Cream. That's a great starting point. Creams are just a lot easier to work with starting out. But there we go. Eucalyptus Shaving Cream. I need to put my little key on it so I can keep turning it. All right, guys. I do believe that is it. We looked at the inexpensive. I mean, this is this is a cheap shave, guys. The razor is a little on the pricey side, but you use that discount code or you're just getting in. You'll use this razor the rest of your life. You'll never need anything else as long as you take care of it. And by taking care of it, taking the blade out, wiping it clean, you'll be fine. All right, guys. Y'all know the drill. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please comment below and hit that noti bell. And consider subscribing if you've made it this far and you are not a subscriber. All right, guys. We'll catch you with another shave tomorrow.